All right, so here we have the blue vac, digital vacuum gauge, and as you can see, I've already turned it on. You just simply push the power button right there and it comes on. So what makes this unique is you have um, several uh, key things that, that the blue vac does that no other gauge on the market uh, right now does. Um, of course, you got a nice backlit display. It's got a little protective film on it, and if you push it in, seeing it, see it tip out there. That's not the actual LCD. It's just a protector. So uh, just something to note. Be careful of if you're rough on stuff like uh, you know I am. So uh, what I did there was there's two modes on the light. You press it once, and when the light icon up here is flashing, that means it's going to turn off in a minute. You push it again, and it'll stay on until uh, you turn it off. So large display measures vacuums and microns, pascals, millibar, uh, tor, millitor, and millimeters of mercury, 0 to 25 range, uh, one tenth of a micron resolution under 10,000 microns. Has a little bar graph down here and a little analog bar graph as well. Has a leak rate indicator, uh, ambient temperature indicator right there. Um, has a sensor built into it so that if oil contaminants, oil or, or contaminants get on the uh, thermistor that it'll tell you and uh, there's two levels. One just says uh, oil which means hey I got oil on my sensor and I may not be as accurate as I need to be and the other one says hey I got oil on my sensor and I'm done until you clean me. Um, temperature Fahrenheit and centigrade Celsius built-in memory uh, long battery life, about 300 hours. It's programmable for a couple of different things. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, there's a self-test that you can do to show if it is or is not in calibration. You can uh, calibrate it pretty easily. Throw it in a freezer, take it out. We'll go through that. And um, the other thing was... Oh yeah, it's got this cool little swivel hook. Check it out. And the swivel hook doesn't have to be in for it to work. You just spin her in right there and it spins around. So it's not uh, plastic. It looks like stainless steel. And uh, looks looks like it'll stand up to quite a bit of abuse. So to program the blue vac, what's cool is you can tell this thing to do um, send an alarm. So what we do is we press and run. See the run button right there? We're going to press and hold it to get into the programming mode. So you see 500 flashing, that's 500 microns. That's my target evacuation level. Um, you change it with the buttons. You go up, down, um, hit set, and then the time flashes. You see it flashing up there in the corner. That's your hours. You set your hours. Hit set again. That's your minutes. You can set, um, I think, 0 to 9,000 minutes or maybe or 900 hours I'm not sure on that but whatever so anyway you just add or take away right there so we'll do 10 minutes and we're gonna do zero because we're gonna sound the alarm here in a second uh, but basically that's it once you have it programmed you hit run again and it's stored the three beeps that's what it means the setting was stored and when you get ready to actually run the program you hook everything up and you just hit run and then it does its thing uh, we're going to exit out of that. It has a leak rate. You can check your leak rate right there. You just hit the rate button. Pretty simple stuff. Again, the light button is also the sound button. If you want to turn the sound off, you push it in and hold it. And the little uh, musical note goes away. Hold it again. It comes back on. Push the button multiple times. The light goes off. There you see the light indicator blinking. That means it'll go off in one minute. Hit it again, it's going to stay on. Push it and hold it. Makes the noise go away. What's cool is you can make the noise go away, but the alarm will still sound when you get down to 500 microns. So we're going to pull a vacuum on it right quick and listen to the alarm. Ready, steady, go.
So there you see we got below 500 microns and no alarm because I didn't have the stupid thing set. So I'm gonna break the vacuum here. Now I'm, all right, now we have it set. So now the alarm is set and of course the noise on the buttons is off and there it goes. So you hit any button to silence the alarm, it'll go off until you do it. So that's the basic overview of the blue back. Pretty cool little gauge. I like it. I'm gonna start using it. It's a. Uh, it'll drive you crazy though. It'll drive you crazy because it, the resolution is so fine and it's so accurate that uh, it's just gonna drive you crazy until you, until you get your rig put together. You can see this um, Appian valve core remover tool that I'm using here is leaking by. Uh, this is one of the ones I, I got to send back. I just had it sitting here on the table, but uh, but you can see there's a leak rate. So if we do rate, uh -huh. so let's see, we're at uh, six point. Well, it differs. It gives um, 1.7 per second. That up in the upper corner right there is a, it gives you your leak rate. And of course, it changes with the micron level, but it's a uh, per second so that's microns per second um, not your overall leak but uh, how fast it's leaking pretty cool stuff so when you get ready to calibrate this thing it's it's uh, pretty simple you just see how it just popped right back over to high pressure there and uh, we're gonna hit run uh, yeah run get back to our nope we're gonna get out of there we hit rate again. Okay, so now we see our temperature. So to calibrate this thing, what you do is uh, there's a sequence of buttons that you have to push, and you throw it in a Ziploc bag, and you put it in your freezer, and it has to get below 23 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, then you take it out of the freezer, and you put it in a room that's between about 75 and 85, and let it warm up slowly, and it will auto calibrate. So uh, you push the buttons and it says cold and you put it in the freezer and when it gets to the right temperature the alarm goes off. Well you go pull it out of the freezer and you set it on a desk or something in your house and and uh, it actually says hot on it at that point and you let it warm up and when it gets done warming up the uh, temperature display pops back up and it says high pressure and it is back to factory calibration. Uh, there's a couple of codes on there. If you get an error code, that means it warmed up too fast or didn't get down to temperature, uh, things like that. But if something like that happens and you just can't seem to get it back or maybe you don't have the time, you can set it right back to the factory calibration because uh, it stores it. So you can just revert back to that until you have time again to uh, refreeze it and rethaw it. Pretty cool. Easy, peasy, rice and cheesy. So these retail, I think, for uh, you can buy them at True Tech Tools for about two forty nine. I think two forty nine. So very comparable to other vacuum gauges, but you get a whole lot more with uh, with the Blue Vac. And did I mention they're uh, made right here in Florida, Coral Ridge, uh, Coral Springs, Florida? So uh, very good tool. Get you one. Think you like it. If you don't, then you can blame me. All right, coming up next, we're going to do the uh, DS220 AccuTools Digital Scale. May have to wait till tomorrow. I'm getting kind of hungry. Later's.